Welcome back. We are back at Epic RV and we are touring a tongue pole bunkhouse today. This is by Trail Runner and it is a long tongue pole bunkhouse. It's about 34 feet total length, but it has a lot of cool features. So let's see what it has. This is the Trail Runner 31 DB. Starting right up front, you have your two propane tanks, of course. Nice electric jack. That way you aren't up here cranking on the thing forever. Super nice. Coming around the side here, we have our numbers. So the gross vehicle weight rating for this is 9,642 pounds. So you're probably looking three quarter ton, one ton single rear wheel to pull this. It's a, it's a big trailer. Oh, that's locked. Won't show you that. Coming down the side, we have our slide out right back here. Nice waterproof sideboard here. So you aren't getting moisture up in there. Also, you have the slide ski right here. So moisture, when it comes down, instead of coming down along here and getting into the trailer, this plastic stuff keeps it and drops it off here. So you don't get that rot that we got on our trailer. Rack and pinion slide out as well. Really big slide out for a tongue pole. I mean, this thing has to be a 10, 12 foot slide, I, I would guess. It does have the aluminum siding. And I know a lot of people think that's a sign of quality, whatever. It's just a, a preference. It, it, it's held up for a lot of years. Right down here, very back on the bottom, you have your sewer drain. You also have your landing gear here and all of your connections right on the outside, not back behind some door. So really easy to access outdoor shower as well. Really nice little features. This is a really nice family unit. On the back, you have your spare tire pre-wired for a backup camera, which would be really nice backing this big of a trailer up. You also have the square bumper. Good place to put your poop tube. And I know this is kind of a controversial thing. Some people really like them, some people don't, but this has the outdoor kitchen. I do like that it has a metal tray instead of wood, so it's just gonna last longer. You have your griddle top, kind of like a Blackstone type. This one's my nice Suburban. You have storage right up in here and you have your little mini fridge keep you some beverages. Always nice to have. With your rear landing gear, it is power. So yet again, you're not back here cranking on it and all that sort of stuff. Nice to have power leveling jacks. Magnetic, as you know, I really like. Right up top, huge awning. It looks to be about 20 feet long. So this way you can get the whole family outside because you don't want them in the trailer anyways. So you can put this big old awning out, keep the trailer nice and cool, keep the kids out of the trailer, shade the whole thing. Then the rest of it's kind of pretty standard. Let's look at the tires. These are Trailer King tires and they are the 225 75R15. So you're coming with a 15 inch wheel, 225 tire, so not a, not a huge tire, but you know, probably will do the job. I don't know how well tra Trailer King tires are. You might want to swap them out when you get it, but that way you at least know the size. There you have it. Pretty simple on the exterior. Let's check out the interior. Oh, so that's something. Yeah. Uh, Jess just hit his head walking in. No, I'm not that tall. One thing you're going to have to watch for, and you run into this with a lot of tongue pull trailers, height. If I stand up right here, I hit, I just knocked my head as I came in. So something to think about, but let's get back to it. <laughs> back to it, we will. Right as you come in directly to your arm's reach is a super nice deep like really deep closet here. Great for storage, pantry, whatever. Maybe. Putting that extra kid. Yeah, locking your sibling in there. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> 
entertainment center, living, kitchen, all of it right here in this really, really spacious area. That slide gives you so much room in here just to live and play and work at the kitchen space, all of it. Just so much room in here. As for sleeping in this area, you've got two in a, in a fold out, kind of a jackknife, if you will. Nice, comfy couches, great viewing for the TV right there. Over here is your dinette folded down, showing you some room for sleeping as well. Also can sit four just to eat, so that's nice. Kitchen all on this one wall. Great access to everything. No one's in your way. It's really nice size fridge for a smaller unit. It's really all you need just to get out for those weekends, quick camping trips. I mean, lots of space, moving shelves. It's, it's a great little fridge for you. It is a propane and electric version. So once again, wherever you wanna stay, your fridge will accommodate that. Overhead microwave. Yes, overhead microwave. Uh, range down here below. It's a three burner. You've got one really big one right there in the front. Oven down below for baking, roasting, whatever need be. Nice light coming from this window as well as all these other giant windows. You can see they're going back to the sliding method. I mean, look how much air you're gonna get through that thing. So much air through this unit. Getting back on track. Obviously I'm loving these windows. <laughs> the rest of this kitchen area here. Overhead cabinetry, giving you lots of space there. Sorry. You've also got your double sink down below. Sometimes I almost prefer two little ones versus one giant one. Nice backsplash covering your sink area for all that water that's splashing out. Um, noticing the slide has this really nice kind of wood finish to it. Just adds a little bit to the coach here. Uh, one AC control panel here. It is ducted, so it is having to feed the entire trailer. Just a thought for you versus the non-ducted. Uh, restroom right here. So restroom here, shower is the shower curtain version versus the sliding glass. Dudes have the, the wand right there for you, a little bit of storage for bottles, a towel rack. Most coaches do not have a towel rack. A toilet is a plastic one versus a porcelain here. A sink area, it's a fairly small sink, but I mean, you're not gonna wash a dog in this thing. Overhead mirror, medicine cabinet, that's nice to tuck things away. Uh, and a little bit of open storage right there, towels, whatever need be. Jesse giving you the shower test. Fit pretty good. I have to have the skylight to fit, but yeah, it works for what it is. I mean, this is not some big fifth wheel full-time unit, you know. It's really a, a fairly good shower. We are to the bedroom portion of this trailer. Uh, nice sliding door option versus the hinge one. Uh, nice storage in here, closet space. Uh, not really hanging, but you could take the shelves out and make it a hanging spot. More storage down below, shoes, whatever need be. A little bit of drawer space for you. These are nice and big, these shelves that you could like put in baskets or whatever you needed to organize this. That's a nice feature for that. Bed itself, queen sized. Some space over here, more hanging if need be. A little bit of overhead 
storage as well. Uh, access to this bottom cabinet right there for you. CPAP, maybe. There's an outlet in the closet right here. With that outlet in your closet right here, CPAP, nice for phone, alarm clock, whatever need be. That's a nice little plug to have right there. And the bunk room for you, for those kiddos. A uh, little one on top, this big one on the bottom. Really nice teddy bear mattress that they're putting in these. Pretty thick as well. A little bit of storage space back in here. Uh, this bunk bed is actually weighted 275 pounds. So you can, if your teenager could fit in there, <laughs> they are covered on the, the weight limit. Bunk bed area does have its own little half bath, uh, toilet and sink, some storage there as well. And right here behind me, you've got a nice big window, a little bit of storage right here, power station, TV cord, set up their own TV if you wanted. Overall, this little unit is great. I'm loving the coloring. It's nice and bright and airy in here. The slide has made it so nice and roomy. If you guys are interested in this little unit, um, check out Epic RV. We will have all of their information down below for you. Today we've been working with Christy Penovich. She's been showing us around, giving us all the details to this trailer. Um, it's been great to work with them. They have been selling trailers all across the United States this year. So check them out, Epic RV. Thanks again for catching us and touring this trailer with us today. We do appreciate your viewership and remember to enjoy your weekend.